So today I will try to build my own lithium ion charger. I've got a lot of those Chinese chargers, but they are quite dodgy. The power supply in them is definitely not safe and also this plug doesn't fit my socket. It doesn't fit directly, I have to use this dodgy adapter. And still those are quite questionable. So let's build my own using just some parts of this one. And I will actually modify it to a USB power. I will take for example this cable from this MP3 player which doesn't work anymore. So I've got a USB cable and I have some USB power supplies which are much safer than this one. So let's just use some power supply like this one and a cable and run it using just 5 volts because then it's running off a safe voltage and it shouldn't be so dangerous. This one is 500 milliamps, 4.2 volts, that's okay, but let's modify the input to 5 volts. So let's open it first. And there is the dodgy plug and the board in it. This one is quite dangerous. This one is the mains in and it is very close to this one which is the battery contact here. So the mains goes here through the plug and this connection right next to it is this battery contact. So the battery contact is just half a millimeter from the mains in. That's horrible. So this is the mains part and this is the secondary part. And they were trying to make some gap in between but here it's completely defeated. As you can see, there is a nice line of separation, but here it's just far too close. And the other mains contact is right in the middle of all those secondary connections. That's also quite dodgy. And we also have no idea what is inside of this transformer. So let's rebuild it to 5 volts. So I have drawn a schematic of it and as you can see it has two parts. This one is the power supply. And this one is the charging circuitry. This power supply is quite simple, but it's also quite dodgy. It has no fuse, no inrush resistor, no interference filter, no snubber network here, and it also has very poor separation on the board and a questionable transformer. So let's remove the power supply and keep just this circuitry for charging. There is a clever charging chip with indication LEDs and some capacitors and this is the output and it's automatic polarity system so it will automatically detect the polarity of the battery and choose the right polarity. So we will connect a USB power supply here and that's it. So let's make all the components of the Doji power supply magically disappear. That's much better. And this soldering iron can do miracles. Now let's try to connect 5 volts to this capacitor. To its terminals. It's this one in the schematic. So let's use a USB cable. We just need this end. So let's cut this one. And get to the wires from the 5 volts and ground. There are four of them. One of them is ground, usually the black one. One of them is plus 5 volts, usually the red one. And the other two are data and we don't need them. So let's test it. This one is ground and this one is 5 volts. So let's remove those two. One shorter, one longer, so they don't touch. 
and let's solder it into the place. I will solder it to this capacitor and the negative has this marking. So this side is the negative. And now there's time to test it. The LED lights up and if I put a battery in it, it shows a red one, which probably means charging. The charging current is about 0.3 amps. So I've put it all back together and it works well. And you can put the battery in it both ways around. It still works. So in the end it looks about like this and I recommend you to put a fuse here and also here because if the chip goes short internally it doesn't short your battery. It will also protect your power supply. The fuses also reduce the risk of fire because lithium ion batteries can catch fire or explode at any time. This Chinese charger has one peculiarity, there are two charging slots but just one chip. So you are charging both batteries directly in parallel. So I recommend you to charge just one battery at a time. Because if you are charging two batteries, you are halving the current. And if the two batteries are in a different state of charge, there can be quite a high current going from one to another, which is quite unwanted. The polarity detection doesn't work with two batteries. So if you put them in opposite directions, you cause a short circuit. So it's better to use just one slot and maybe remove the other one. Or use a single slot charger instead. Always be careful with lithium ion batteries because they can be dangerous. And use just a safe power supply. And don't forget the fuses. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.